Alert! Kenosha, Wisconsin Riots, BLM. The show. Woohoo! Wait for it. Wait for it. Kick it. There we go. Then we got the kick in. Yeah. That's what we're going to talk about right now. Kenosha, Wisconsin Riots, BLM. The show. In the exciting BLM <coughs> riot episode, we rush to judgment based on a grainy 13 second video of a man getting in his car in direct violation of cops. Uh, well, it seems to be. I had guns drawn on him. We whip people up to hate and frenzy and we rely. We rely on our media allies and our billionaire allies to assure that everyone is angry and ready to burn down stuff as well. It's burn down stuff time, ladies and gentlemen. Burn down stuff. Uh, from CBS News, we get Kenosha shooting Wisconsin police shoot Jacob Black black man protesters gather that's that's their hashtag title for their story and that was more interesting than their actual title a black man was hospitalized in serious condition after police shot him several times in the back as he opened the door of a parked vehicle in Kenosha Wisconsin graphic video of the shooting emerged on social media late Sunday sparking angry protests that prompted the city to declare an emergency curfew. And that worked. The man was later identified as Jacob Blake, 29, according to Governor Tony Evidence, who was who, who said Blake was shot multiple times in broad daylight. I don't get the in broad daylight thing. Uh, well, what do you mean? Well, we do not have all of the details yet. What we know for certain is that he is not the first black man or person to have been shot or injured or mercilessly killed at the harsh hands of individuals and in law enforcement in our state or our country. Ever said in a statement. Thing that's the fucking wow. That is the governor of Wisconsin. See, that's when it's so chilling to me when, well, I'm going to get to the Google News search here. I want to. I don't want to editorialize too much, but I, I just want to say real quick: it's so chilling to me when people in positions of authority who fundamentally rely on those people with guns for their very legitimacy, and and often the very people the, these people are calling on even more power, essentially put into the to the hands of these same people with guns that they're now uh, lambasting. That their reliance upon coercion as a means to enforce their world upon other people is pretty significantly more than even what exists today they're they're proposing far more measures that will be f require far more controls by people with guns so it particularly bothers me when these folks uh, slam the police if you're not involved in government I mean as in you're not an elected official in government and you're slamming the police that's one thing but you're an elected official slamming police man your bodyguard everyone should just abandon you and just let, leave you to the mercy of, of the citizens let's see how well you do I don't think there's a governor alive across this earth uh, anybody that calls himself a governor that if they if you remove security that they would live long I, I almost every governor has has people that want to kill them i mean that's just the nature of the business because you're in a business that fundamentally uses coercion as a means of governance so it's what you get so this is what you get when you look for kenosha wisconsin riots blm and googles <coughs> and you get update racine county this is 14 hours ago violence erupts following shooting in kenosha from the milwaukee journal sentinel eight hours ago uh, Kenosha businesses damaged and vehicles burned after police officer shoots black man. D d businesses damaged. Not even, not even, not even making sense. 
not even making sense. Video shows Wisconsin police shooting a black man multiple times as he enters a car. Washington Post. And, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, let's, let's check this out. So, oh, I'm down below here. I'm too. How did I? Uh, oh, you know what? That's stupid. I'm on my site. On my. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go with the Ben Crump attorney Crump. Okay, trial lawyer for justice. Okay, so yeah, I get the hyperbole from somebody like this. Wow, the black man was shot several times in the back by Kenosha police today. He was getting into his car after apparently breaking up a fight. Wait, is this true? Uh, between two women? If that's his true? I mean, that would be really bizarre. He's in critical condition now. We demand justice. I would... I'm not... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say it's true based on what this guy said. So, so, so let's view this. Let's view this. Man is walking, totally ignoring the cops. And then... And then he shoots him. And of course he shoots him. Of course. I mean, once the cop has put you in a position where he said, you got to walk away or I'll shoot. And then you walk away. And then you open up the car door. Now it's every reason to believe you might have a gun in there. Every reason to believe that you might have a gun in there. Now, I am not... My, my I guess my, my critique is not about what what happened what didn't happen i don't know <clears throat> need to know a lot more and so far there's not a lot of details out there coming from anyone as far as what really happened that i've seen in my my little research that i've done before making this video now i i got a lot more research to do but uh my critique here is not uh, well certainly i can look at mainstream media and see no, none of them are communicating anything that suggests they know anything but they've run with this narrative and this is this is my ultimate critique they ran with this uh narrative and the narrative that they ran with is that uh black man shot in the back this is look at this racial injustice it's horrible it's evil look get them all and you got a white man i mean you got the perfect scenario so all the media hypes it across the country hypes it. No sense of responsibility about what they're doing to the country. No sense of, hey, why don't we all just uh, take a step and breathe and let's get the facts and figures and try to try to get this out in a way that we're not actually going to cause more human beings harm. Because you've caused human beings harm. It is your fault that there's more riots uh, in Wisconsin and I don't know how many people have been hurt. I don't know how many businesses have been damaged and how many businesses will now go out of business because they were already cutting the knife because of coronavirus, even as it is. And you put these businesses out of business. And what advantage you give once again to these large businesses that will come in and be able to, to scrape the dead from the bottom of the barrel and, and repurpose their shit in, in ways that ultimately... Bring more money to the same citadelians, the billionaires, whatever you want to call them. Not all billionaires are citadelians, not all citadelians are billionaires, but most billionaires are citadelians. Anyway, uh, these folks, they're the ones that have been uh, largely, not not like some central planning kind of way. It's been more, it's, uh, it's a combination of planning and, and emergence, but more emergence and then planning that takes advantage of emergence is more I think how they tend to operate uh, and and not in any kind of I mean it's a, it's an organic kind of thing that happens across the spheres as far as what citadelians adopt to try to uh, well sh keep the door shut behind them and and I tell you the people who most want to shut the door are the people that just got in because they're the most likely to go right back out if there is any purging. So the people who just got in are the most likely to want to keep that freaking door shut. So we've got this statement from Kenosha officer involved shooting. This is from Wisconsin Department of Justice. This is uh, the State Department of Justice. The Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation is investigating an officer-involved shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin that occurred in the evening of Sunday, August 23, 2020. The shooting occurred when Kenosha police officers responded to a reported domestic incident in the 2800 block of 40th Street. Law enforcement immediately provided medical aid to the person who was shot. Well, wonderful. Fight for life transported to the person to 
the Frodert Hospital in Milwaukee. The person is in serious condition. I think the person is going to recover, so that's really going to be interesting. DCI is leading this investigation as an, and is assessed it by Wisconsin State Patrol and Kenosha County Sheriff's Office. All involved law enforcement are fully cooperating with DCI during the investigation. The involved officers have been placed on administrative leave. A ubiquitous administrative leave. DCI is continuing to review evidence and determine the facts of this incident and will turn over investigation response to a prosecutor following a complete and thorough investigation. If members of the public, if members, this is, I think this is very interesting. If members of the public have any further information regarding this incident, please contact law enforcement. My sense, uh, I don't know. When I see something like that, that's, that would tend to suggest to me that the ones who wrote such a sentence know of such a thing. That, uh, well, that there, there is authentic suspicion that there is something that is not right about this whole thing. Now, the video itself, when you look at the video itself, now, if this if this young man, by the way, if he was dead, I wouldn't be able to look at this video. I wouldn't even be showing it right now. And, and, uh, uh, but but this is uh, this is just this is just horrible. If I was a news outlet, would I immediately run this video? I would not run this video until I ran and I got as much facts as I could about what exactly happened. I would want to talk to all the people that were involved. I want to know the circumstances, and I, because if I'm going to put something out like this, and if this is just as as hideous as it looks, and it very well might be, I have no idea. Uh, then, then you deal with it. <laughs> but uh, if it's not, then you've triggered horrors upon the land for no good reason, and. I don't know how this will be able. Uh, th 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 these are, I mean, I'll just say that I have, in the course of all of this craziness in the last just five years, there have been so many times that my opinion has shifted regarding what, what actually happened based upon shifting evidence. And, and I see little snippets of videos, and so often I think it looks so sure like this, and I think, well, well, then I find evidence that it doesn't. And then later I find, well, no, no, no. So, like, I know the shifts. So I don't know how many shifts at all this story is going to take. So I can't stand on anything regarding, I could just tell you cosmetically, I'm just saying there has to be, there's got, they got to, based on what I've seen, all that I've seen so far is a suggestion that they showed up for a domestic violence dispute. So now the important thing to remember is these cops were called, these communities called this, these cops. So they invited these cops into this situation. They're the ones that called them. That is important to note here. Somebody in that community called these cops. I don't know why if cops really are such a horrible menace, and I'm not saying they are or aren't, but if they are, Black communities like this, or any community that that believes this about the cops that serve them, why would you ever call them? Never ever call police, ever, unless you absolutely have to. Uh, if especially if you believe that that they really are this horrible, they're just this horrible, evil, simpleton, racist, which you kind of have to believe to believe that. And I don't, I don't really think that's true of, of policing in general. I think that uh, it has been true of, of many police departments. And in some police departments, uh, it, it is probably still true. I don't know how true it is in these police departments. Sir. I just want to make sure. I'm going to take off my filter for this for a bit. Because I want to make sure that you see this. Oh, there is the audio. What? So that is how many shots? Let's count this. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. Is that either seven or eight? I think it's seven. Seven. See that that part right there? That's problematic, no doubt about that. That is incredibly problematic that he shot 
that man at that close range or if I don't know if it, both of them shot let me just see I don't think the other cop fired I think only this first cop fired but how are you shooting there's no reason for you to fire seven times you could probably tell immediately this dude was probably like not going anywhere that is at the very least i think that is that that by my standards i don't want cops that do that serving to say at the very least this cop should not be serving seven times in the back i'm just not sure what i would have to believe is this that this young man did something that would lead these cops to believe that he was somehow actually dangerous that's what I want to know. I want to know what happened before this. And I know nothing. And that's my point. My point is not to say whether this is good, bad, evil, racist, not... Uh, I mean, well, it's not good no matter what. But uh, whether it's justified or or whether it's unjustified. I, I, there's just... I don't need... I need to know more. Be, I'll just say this, that I'm heavily inclined to believe this looks pretty awful in this video. And I just would not, if I had the power and I had the voice and the microphone or whatever, I would not want to be sending out signals that I thought could whip people up into hell and frenzy and, and, and suffering without fully knowing exactly. I would probably try to present this story in as calm and as uh, objective and rational a manner as possible and suggest that... Uh, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't cover it up. I would cover it. I'd have to cover it if I was... And I know this. I, I mean, I know this to a certain degree. I've, I've, been, I've been an editor running a local newspaper. So I know for what I talk about, I know how I think. And in, I mean, well, I, I know... I've faced these types, maybe not something specifically like this, but I've made these types of calls based on on news publications where I've I've been careful in how I've 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 prevent, prevented I presented the facts, but I tried to present them in ways that were as as calm and uh, and and uh, neutral as possible. I try I worked as best as I could not to inflame situations. And the news media does the very opposite. They work to, to get the most juiciest, shockingest, everything is... They worked, work to whip us up. And so this is... Whatever their motivations are, whether it's money in the bank, whether it's an ideology, whether it's orders from the Chinese Communist Party, whether it's tiny nanobots in their head, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They do it over and over. So we can't have a calm, rational... Uh, uh, analysis of what actually happened here and then we can make decisions about what should happen but one one thing it shouldn't be is to 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 immediately try to whip people up into hell fury and frenzy to feed that to stoke that so that how many innocent business owners had had their lives transformed or at least significantly altered for maybe the next five to ten years because of your willingness to just go with this narrative and push the whitey hates blacky, especially whitey copy hates blacky. Like that's that sells papers, that sells clicks, and and it also burns down businesses. And uh, we need to know more. We need to more. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying is we need to know more. So. There you have it. I don't really have much more to say about this topic or this, uh, this situation for now because, again, I just don't know enough. I just don't know what is what with what. And maybe, maybe a week from now I'll learn more that will show me. Who knows what it will show me. It might show me what I suspect. No, if I, I'll tell you this. If I had to bet, this is my bet. This is my bet. That these 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 cops, that this the, these, it is possible that this dude was was, came into a situation. Some ladies started fighting. He got in the middle of it. Ladies turned on him. Then they called the cops. Then, uh, the cops, they 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 uh they were basically like they were going to arrest him, and they were going to arrest him for stupid shitty reasons. Just basically 
based on these uh, ladies' testimonies, even though he was actually trying to help them, but they turned on his ass. And then uh, he was like, yo, man, you ain't got no shit on me. You got no shit on me. You got no reason to detain me. You got. I'm just walking away. And they're like, sir, if you walk away, and you're like, come on, man, that's ridiculous. I'm, I'm just going to walk away. And so there they are pointing their guns at him. And now they got the whole community around them. Now their whole authority is questioned. Right, their little 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 penis authority is is questioned, and they're walking this guy uh, through this. Th- you know, following him as he's walking out to his car, and then they shoot him. Now that's my theory based upon nothing but wild speculation. But if it turns out to be something like that, you could say the dude should have detained himself. But you know, it is kind of like saying, listen. The professionals are really trigger happy, so they can't understand like escalations of, def- you know, they, they would understand that, uh, you know, if they're going to actually arrest this guy and he starts to walk away, that the move is not take your freaking gun out and point it at his head and follow him as he walks to his car. And then when he turns his back on you, shoot him seven times. That's not how you effectively, he should have been physically detained long before they got to that point. I mean, that part alone makes this look like, I don't know, the the Spurg idiocy here. I mean, are these rookie cops? I don't, I don't get it. I don't, it could be that these cops are, the other effect is these cops are like, they're so, all cops are like, well, what do we do? How do we deal with this? And they're probably paralyzed by fear. And then they act like idiot morons. I mean, that could be, it could be something completely different. It could be something way different than anything I theorized. Who knows? But at any rate, there you go. That's, that's the story. And uh, this has been Alert Kenosha, Wisconsin Riots of BLM, the show. And I guess we'll, uh, we'll see uh, if there's, uh, there's going to be a whole series or if this is just uh, a one-off show or... Maybe it'll have multi multiple series. Who knows? Who knows if Kenosha has legs? I guess we'll find out. Keep your butt strapped to your chairs. And, uh, I'm going to turn this off now.